<laughs> this is an episode that's kind of been in the works for a long time. We were originally going to do it back in season two before COVID hit and we had to like rejig all of our plans. You start the episode thinking that Evandra is being chased by this bloodthirsty savage orc. But later on, it gets revealed that it was actually the party who were bloodthirsty. Grishnikor is trying to do better in his life, he's trying to just care for his wife and children. So he's a good guy most of the time, but he'll look for any excuse to, to rage out. And the party gave him a good excuse for that by murdering his wife. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. Love to the kids. Your friends murdered them too! Krishnikov's ah! weapon is the coolest sword I think I've seen. Forgeling, aka Antrius, made that and he gave it to me in the first week of rehearsal and I never put it down. Like that, this is the real reason I make this show, so I get all these cool props to play with. That's totally valid. Slash outfits to... And I'd like no. to just beat up my cast for... No! Do better! Oh, no. <laughs> Looking for a location for Barbarian, we wanted something that had like a gate that Evandra could hold up so that the orc couldn't come and get them. We found this old aqueduct and we were like, okay, this looks great, but we've got to have something for her to block it with. So we got our set designer Rob to make a gate that she could just hold up against the archways. I don't know why Grishnikor didn't just go round. I assume intelligence is his dump stat. Ah! Hello, I'm Grishnikor. Nice to meet you. One of the great things about One For All is that we turn our dungeon master, played by Kendall, into so many different characters. And from a costuming perspective, that presents a really interesting challenge because we have to turn this one quite slim, noodly guy into so many different heights and builds. So for our orc Grishnikor, we needed to make him look big and bulky and scary. We ended up using a Halloween store Hulk suit, which was airbrushed and painted to look like muscles, and layered in furs and leathers and really brought in all that texture to create that Hulk look. And that was really brought together again with Jen's makeup. She used this amazing prosthetic and wig that brought everything together. One of the things that we always like to keep in mind is how Kendall is going to actually be able to show his acting chops through a look. This one was very extensive. It was a lot of coverage for him. The piece covered his brow down his nose and down underneath his eyes. It ended right on the top lip, so he still had his, the bottom half of his face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Miss Piggy! Yeah! Fun fact, he did have two teeth originally. One of them kept falling out, so now he has one. <laughs> he only has one tusk, which I kind of like as a character thing anyway. We didn't want to do masks because uh, that would just completely defeat the point of having Kendall, who is an excellent actor, actually playing a character. We've got all the muscle we need right here. I'll give you an orgasm! We've had characters on One For All that involve a lot of uh, prosthetics and elaborate costumes, but I think Grishnikor was by far the most covered up I'd been. And that presents a interesting way to act, knowing that there's essentially one facial expression you can pull for the entire time and having to work within that. A uh, good thing, this character only shows one emotion and stuff. So that was easy. I will burn! In your blood! Not so easy, however, was the temperature that my body got to. Yeah, yeah it's warm. <laughs> it's sweaty. Today I've got hydrolyte, I've got people fanning me down, I feel like a diva, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's the only fans content, man. It's just fans. It's a bit warm. Like running was a time. Ooh, yeah. I am a weak little performer, I'm not an athlete. Yeah. I don't have many lines today, which is great, because yesterday I had so many. Now kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs>
I really wanted to challenge this stereotype that orcs have been branded with as this villainous creature. In contrast with Grishnikor, we've got Mogda, who's this pure, sweet, innocent boy who hates fighting, refuses to get involved in conflict unless it's as a last resort. Mogda, the character, who was originally going to be one of the party members back when the show was first being created. But we realized that, you know, five people in a party is ridiculous for a five minute skit on YouTube. So we condensed it down to three and I just, I took the character and I just put him in my pocket. And uh, here we are, like two years later and I'm, I'm taking him back out. My biggest rationale for like bringing an extra character in is not so much to find out who that new character is, but to find out how our existing party reacts to this outside force. You know, on second thought, we've already got a strong warrior in the party, so I think we're all good here. I've got this. She don't got this. So Evandra's got a bit of an attitude problem in this one because this barbarian has shown up and she's feeling a little bit threatened. You know, you guys should all just go on home. I'm gonna, I've, I've got words. <laughs> I've got this. I've take handle this. She don't got words. Hey Mark Dar, I've had sex that was greener than you. You should really go get that checked out. <sighs> So I think this might be the first time that we actually see Nixie lose it. Like we, we saw her getting worked up, but I think this is the first time we've actually seen her lose her entire shit. <laughs> Yelling like that. There was a point where I was actually starting to feel a bit faint just from like the overexertion of just like screaming. But I mean, it was also so much fun. Like I think a bit of like a stress reliever as well. I like it a little bit better. <laughs> Mogda is played by Wanyo, who we've previously worked with many times in the past. When we were doing like a Dragon Ball Z parody, he was our Goku. I've actually been in the cosplay community for about 10 years now. When I was first kind of starting up and everything, there were cosplayers that I did look up to. And Wanyo was one of them. So I was really happy that he got to be on set with us because I just really enjoy spending time with him. See, you guys are going like this as if it's like, but no, really, you're just no, no, chop her no, no. head off, chop her head off. <laughs> it was great because Nixie this time wasn't the only person with the lisp on set. Why do you make you fight off me? Save forever. Forever. <laughs> so firstly, first Where? of all. <laughs> I don't know what that word is, first so I'm not going to say it. Can't you at least ask your mate to stop attacking us? Barbarian was an interesting shoot. It was the first time that Antrius actually gets triggered by something. And heaven forbid it'd be Wayne. Wayne's one of the, the nicest people we've probably had on production. <laughs> <laughs> and I are discussing how certain character things are going to come up, we like to use pop culture references to sort of get a vague idea of the outline and then we try to make it our own... I think the direction was kick door, march in, sand person. So yeah, didn't actually do the... Uh, even though it was tempting. That entrance shot was one of the coolest things I think I've been involved with. 
One of the only times I've watched playback after we filmed, just because I wanted to see what it was like, but the pushing in of the camera, screaming, raising that amazing sword above their head, it felt so epic. We'll have a beat where you sort of, like I could call them, stand up after screaming. You turn to look at Grishnikov, and then you charge in and you crash tackle him. And Mogdar is actually Grishnikov's nephew. Grishnikov's sister is Mogdar's mother. So it gets a little Shakespearean at the end there with the murdering of the uncle. But yeah, it was, ni it was a nice little family reunion. And now he's grinding the paste. And you guys are really into it. You're like, oh wow, oh get him, finally we're, we're winning. And now it's getting a little bit too far, it's a bit gross. Oh, you didn't want to see this. Oh, you might lose your lunch. And now he's dead. That's a wrap on Kendall! Thank you, Kendall! I'm being clean. No! Because I'm a dirty boy. And action. Stand your back! What are you gonna do? Come on! Come on me! You can't stop Mogda! Patrick! Dialogue for Patrick will be added in post. Patathy! Pat's me! Catherine! Catherine! <laughs> Catherine! <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones! <laughs>